Sweet! Well, I'm happy to announce that I've gotten a packet. That's right, it's a packet of licorice comforts. I always thought they were supposed to be called licorice torpedoes, but I'm not going to argue. Uh, you don't really can tend, to, tend to find them now, uh, since they've been taken out of the pick and mix. And it's a real classic for licorice lovers, or people who can't poo very well. So I'm going to crack these open. I'm going to stick a couple in the mouth. Mmm, um, I've been waiting for this pack to come, and uh, I've got my glass here ready to sort of pour my liquid into it, so that's on standby ready. And here's my packet here. Now, yes, it does just look like a block of parcel tape, but it's not. It's a box, and there's the piece that I cut out of the front that had my address on. So there you go, from the side to the back, to the side and top. So let's open it up and see what's arrived. I'll just cut it off camera on that side because uh, I tend to lose a finger or something. Let's see if I can cut this properly. Nice sharp pair of scissors is always helpful. And there we go, wow! Pins go open. Ta da! It's in a box. Right, I'm a showman. The liquid must be at the bottom. So let's have a look. Well, there's my first one there. And it's the Rebel Fleet Trooper. And yes, he does have somewhat of a futuristic cycling helmet on there. Pretty chuffed to have him. He looks uh, really cool. Comes with two blasters. And he will go with my rapidly expanding Star Wars figures. And he sent a note saying, nice one, Polly. <laughs> Hoping it arrived in one piece, which uh, I haven't figured that out yet. See you in the YT. YouTube. YouTube, yep. Mm -hmm. Cheers. And his address is in there as well, so. I have sent you a parcel out this morning. Well, I say this morning, it was more like this evening. And I have sent it by snail mail, unfortunately, sorry, mate. Uh, £5.20 should be with you by Christmas. And there's Bib Fortuna. Uh, I don't recall this guy being Jabba's sex slave, but I guess if he was, Jabba must have a thing for these people, uh, like chicks with these tentacle kind of things coming off the head. I guess that must be his little fetish thing he's got going, so, you know, what do you expect? He's a giant slug, he's bound to have some kind of fetish, isn't he? And here's the micro machines! Wow! I love Star Wars micro machines. I love the Star Wars, uh, the micro machines logo too, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen that for a while. And here is the Bulba with Anakin, is it Anakin? Or Anakin's mate. One of the very. Oh, look at all the ones on the back. Pod racing. Cool. Well, that's a cool set. What's it say? Action set environments. Doesn't tell you which, which one it is, though. Looks like something off Indiana Jones. And here is another Star Wars Micro Machines. That's really cool because we've got Darth Maul in there. On his bike and not on his bike. That's a nice one. And then here's Kian. From the finishing moves type of series, uh, I'm quite a big fan of the finishing moves series. Like, um, I do like the fact that they are really articulated and good at wrestling moves. Apart from a lot of them, do have really odd hair shapes and things, but this guy seems to look pretty awesome. Nice little molded on belt there, too. So, he's pretty cool. And here's Shane O'Mac. Here comes the money! Here comes the money! Dollar, dollar, dollar! Nice Shane O'Mac, looking rather like uh, Ken Shamrock there. Um, can't wait to get him sort of jumping off structures that are 800 feet high. Cool. You're fired! And finally, oh no, not finally, there's two more in there. There's Paul Heyman. 
decent looking Paul Heyman uh, with his ponytail missing I will stick something on there for him I don't know what but I'm sure it will look ponytail esque when it's done I'm sure I can pinch something off Eeyore or something like that so there you go Paul Heyman definitely a Heyman guy and finally it's the bad guy Scott worst looking action figure of him Hall so I've now got Scott Hall to go with me Kevin Nash uh, I'm looking forward to doing a, a video of my ultimate NWO He's even got the slap look I slap your face Getting a slap Paul Heyman why not so there you go, uh, I guess the uh, the water must have dried up and I'm, I'm assuming the other bits and pieces that I was showing in the video will be turning up in, a, in the envelope, I guess. Uh, so thanks for that mate, uh, hopefully yours will be with you soon, although I wouldn't hold your breath uh, as they're probably coming on a skateboard. Uh, cool, there is no other stuff you want and I'll catch you in a bit. Ciao.